right, morning guys. Uh, first video for quite some time. Uh, as you can see, it's very cold and very frosty at the moment. Uh, yeah, I've just come over here for a few hours, see if I can find anything. Uh, still got the trusty old mine lab with the Ceph coil. Uh, just to let you know, not a very fascinating find, but first find of the day, first old of the day, uh, is a musket ball. No great shakes, but it's got some age in it. Right, guys, get back to you and find something else. All right, guys, um, not very far down, about about four or five inches down. Next find is a George the fifth penny. Not particularly interesting. Hey, still a find, is it? Still a find. Nineteen. 23 is that or 5 23 or 5 1925 I think hmm all right guys not particularly interesting but it's a fine all the same Whew, it's cold today the trouble is it is cold but you get down below that top layer and it's sticky horrible mud but hey Finds a find. Right guys, I'll get back to you. Hello right, guys, just a quick one. Nothing spectacular. Brass handle. Got some age to it. But it's just a brass handle. It's broken off there. Something, well, it looks like a handle. It's broken off there. Hmm. Oh well. About seven inches down. About in signal, as you can imagine, because it's solid brass, but it's got some weight on it as well. Okay, guys, right, get back to it. Okay, guys, uh, just a quick one. Next find a little buckle, probably off some horse tack or something. Not that interesting, but the find all the same. Probably three, four inches down. Right guys, get back to you. Right, hello guys. Um, just uh, popped the clod open. And that was what was inside when it broke off. And just about make the impression out on there. Uh, it's probably a half penny by the look of it. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's not a penny, so you pretend you're on the back. Who is it though? Who is it though? I'll tell you what I think it looks like. Bear with me a minute, guys, I'm just going to clean it off a bit. Yeah, it's a George V, half oh, penny. Let's see if I can get a date for you. It is Guys, 1921. It's not in best nick, but hey, it's a find. Right, guys, I'll get back to you. All right, guys, uh, there must be like a mini spill here because there's my last hole there, and literally here is my second hole, and about six inches down, side of the wall. You just about make it out there. Is a coin. Only a penny again, I think. 
Mm-hmm. Mm. Bit cruddy this one. Bear with. I'll try and see if I can get some enough detail on it to get you something so you can see something. Uh, pretty, pretty well gone. I think it's George six or something. Date. Date wise. Bear with me a minute, guys. Can't really make it out, guys. Nineteen twenty something, maybe, I don't know. Don't know. Probably see more get it cleaned up a little bit. Hmm. Right, don't know, right. Okay guys, well there's another find, another penny. Get back to you. Right. Okay guys, probably about I don't know, six, seven inches down there. Always have a banging signal. And I'm delighted to say, you know how I feel about these. I found another one. Crotal Bell. And I think it's intact, I think it's whole. Oh, it is. Oh, it's perfect. It is, look. Look at that pattern. And it's all there. Let me clean that up, guys, and I'll show you a bit better. That's a beauty. That's an absolute beauty. Let's clean it up a little bit. Just so we can get a better look at it. Right, guys, let's have a look. Oh, yes, look at that. Look at that. What a little belter. Perfectly intact. Well. That's worthwhile coming just for that. I'll clean it out later and I guarantee you it will ring. They normally do. As you know I find a lot of these intact and some people don't, they find lots of bits but I've been so lucky. Might be a different sort of method of ploughing. Maybe that's why they're intact. But yeah, look at that guys, that's gorgeous. Wonderful. Right guys, that's made my day. Uh, cracking. Right, I'll get back to you. Alright guys, next find. Literally just under the surface dug that clod out but it was literally just there you can just about see where it was down there a little flat bit of mud there just there uh, it's a George II I believe half penny just about make him out there it'd be George III but I don't think it is
Yeah, there you go, guys. Hmm. Okay, right. To the find. Get back to you. Alright, guys, just a quick one. Tiny little button. There's no, no detail on it at all. Nothing at all. Just a tiny, tiny little button. But it has got the shank on the back. Which always makes me... Looking always, I'm always surprised to see that. Considering how many times this field has been ploughed and then returned to grass. It's, uh, it's done remarkably well. I don't know how long it will stay on and how it's out of the ground, guys. But it's there at the moment. Okay. Right, well... Get back to you. Just another buckle, guys. Another big bit of horse tack. Big one, though. Hmm. All right, get back to you. Okay guys, I've really got to show you this. I thought when this came out of the ground it'd just be a little coin. But it isn't a coin. I found something quite nice here. You can see the royal crown there. There's a guy there with a little standard. And he's blowing a trumpet. He's got a shield by his side. There we go. And it says, crowned at Westminster. Okay, turn it over. And there you go, our gracious king and queen. Now I'd imagine that's Queen Victoria and her husband there. And there's a little medallion, a medal or something, because it's got a bit that's been snapped off the top, which it's broken off and fell off. But I'm well chuffed with that, guys. That's bloody great. I never thought I'd find something like that today. So that's kind of a commemorative um, piece, I'd imagine. And they got married. And they were crowned when... I think that's absolutely brilliant. Wow. Yeah, I'm well chuffed with that. Our gracious king and queen. go yeah it's quite deep as well around about nine inches down lovely right guys well happy with that I'll get back to you right guys uh, <laughs> I don't believe this um, I was just about to pack up. You can see where my stuff is just there. Just walking over to it. Just a last couple of swings. And turn the side over. Started rifling through the side. And look at that. <laughs> look at that. Oh, look at that. Little Howard. Oh, wow. Oh, I've seen good nick as well. Oh, it's in superb nick. <laughs> hey. Oh, yes. That's made my day now. Oh, is it? Who is it? Oh, it's an Edward.
Yeah, Edward. Oh, wow. Oh, made up. Well, I think I'm going to call that a day, guys. I can't end on a better note than that, can I? What a beauty. Ah. Just a bit now. Yep. Lovely, lovely. Cool. Right, guys. That's it for me. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you at the next dig. Till up. Alright guys, um, just one more thing before I sign off. Um, got it home, the cup bell. Cleaned it up, as you can see. It's really, really lovely. And yes, indeed it does. It rings as well. <laughs> Lovely. So, get another one to add to the collection. Nice. Right. See you again soon. Bye bye.